technology. So, yeah, I am Oliver Monkey, and we run a kit hire company called Kit Room Monkey Limited, and we hire cameras, grip, lighting, and sound. How's business? Sorry. How's business? Business is uh, good. It's been a strong start to the year. January was very good. February's been very good. Uh, and this is our first time at the show, at the BBE show, uh, with a stand with a six foot three monkey, which seems to be attracting a lot of people, seems to be getting a lot of interest, which is kind of what we're driving at. We don't have a sort of, we're not selling equipment. Yeah. So we need something to get attention, and once we get that attention, we're able to say this is what we do. Right. But we certainly get a lot of interest, and it certainly seems to be from what more people are telling us and what we're talking to people about, there's a lot of work going on out there. So it's not gloom and doom, and that's the best, right. that's the best news we could have. What are the features of the, of the exhibition that have sort of attracted your attention? Two things this year, at this, this particular show this year, two things that grabbed my attention, which is the 3D rigs. Last year, when I was walking around as a normal person, as Thank a normal you. person, uh, there was three, four stands of 3D. This year, it's very heavy and it's very advanced, and it's it's coming. You know, it's here really, but it's coming at you. And then uh, the the digital stills cameras, the the. the 70s, 5Ds, <laughs> Canon store. It's interesting that Canon store, which would normally be broadcast lenses, mm. they've split it in half and they've got digital stills, cameras on one side with experts helping, and yeah. then their lenses. So definitely the markets. And looking at all the extras, the, the grips that are being yeah. sold, the map boxes, the follow focuses, they're all aimed at that small camera right. to make it a far use of, you know, more usable yeah. camera. So, so you were saying that the year started well. How does it compare to last year and the year before? It's I mean, built each year, yeah, the, from since, uh, I'd say the last three years, it's built steadily. So the recession um, hasn't had an impact on your business? Not particularly. Oh. I mean, we always say, you know, people will always watch TV, but, yeah. but that aside, yes, budgets get tighter, and yes, things change, but essentially people are still making programs, programs being made. They're just being made in a slightly different way. Right. So, you know, where we would have dealt with an independent production company and they would have had a budget and that was the way it worked. We're now dealing with sort of smaller, younger filmmakers and a lot, a lot of students out there who are actually very viable clients. You know, they're not just students, rural rich students. Yeah. They're actually viable clients who are going to be the future. Right. So, you know, that's, that's a good thing. And does a higher business do better in, in periods of downturn simply because nobody has the capital to... I guess, I guess there's a theory to say that we would do better in a recession simply because of an independent company or a, a solo cameraman may not invest in his own kit, therefore hire it. Yeah. Uh, and obviously when there's a bit more money about, they could invest. But also, at the current state of things, the way things are, there's so many cameras out there that the question at the moment is, what camera are you going right. to buy? If you go up to the Sony store... <coughs> There's about 17 different cameras in there. You go to the Panasonic store, there's 10 different cameras. You know, so the question is, what camera do I need? And when you know the answer to that, you know, you're then going to try and do a deal, and then you've got to buy everything else that goes with it. So I think a lot of people are just holding fire, seeing what progresses and changes, and just, just go with the flow. So they'll hire a test kit, 